What's up? Yo yo. You've been waiting for this one? Yeah, I'm out of ideas. Uh, actually, I'm not out of ideas. I have a good idea for tomorrow, but it takes a little bit of work for me. So I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. You have to tell me about Nez? Guys, I know all about Nez. I've been a Nez fan for a while. I, I bought a controller from Nez. The Infinity Stone. So it was, trust me, I know the guy. He's, a, he's amazing. So entertaining. And his Yoshi? Kind of crazy. I watched a lot of the raid, yeah. Thank you, Jolly. I appreciate it. His reaction? No, I saw all of it. Thank you, the Daily Haley. First day of classes? They were good. It's pretty chill. It was like syllabus days, so we just kind of, you know, there wasn't much to do. He's the best one I've rated so far. I mean, he's, he's an entertainer, through and through. And it's a smart thing to do when, when you get rated like that, right? Like, you kind of pivot into exactly what that audience wants, which obviously you guys are not necessarily a fan of Melee. You're a fan of Corey, right? So, you know, he's, he's a super smart guy, too. How would he do on BB? I don't know. He doesn't know the game. He'd have to study up. Very charismatic, though. Did anyone recognize you in class? <laughs> Thanks, Alyssa. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, a little bit. You know. Oh, Chiara, thank you. She's the fucking country, killed me. That's so kind, Chiara. Thank you. You guys getting pumped for the traders? Rooting for Parvati? Yeah. I look, I'm rooting for Dan, but you know. Anonymous, thank you. What a crazy start we're on, holy. You guys just get paid or something? What's going on? Team Bananas, that's a hot take. Rooting for Peppermint, sure. Thank you, Steel Cage. Appreciate it. Thank you, Kajordan. I didn't know Kate from Below Deck was on Traders. That's crazy. CT is going to be a funny guy to watch on the show. She's on season two as well? Is that right? Just season one, right? Now, CT is smart, but you know, it's obviously not what he's known for. Just season one, okay. Yeah, I figured. A cameo, okay. So she's not a competitor on season two, though. You hear that? Kevin? Kate makes an appearance in season two. Oh, ah, this is crazy. She's there, by the way. Oh, what's, what's her name? That's good. That means she sticks around for below deck. So below deck, the first uh Sportis, the first chief Sportis left. So I thought it was gonna be Well like she's there for another eight seasons, I guess. No, yeah, but I'm like, I thought it was gonna be like a rotating yeah. crew. Good, we need the continuity. Pilot Pete will not be winning if I have anything to do with it. Oh my god. What do you know about Pilot Pete? Thank you for the bits, everybody. Michelle, DJ, Jordan. Below deck changes crew every time. Yeah, but there's like a couple people who stay, right? Because if they get rid of Ben, or they get rid of Eddie, I'm gonna be furious. How many episodes left in Flavor of Love? I don't know, is it eight episodes? Ten episodes? Something like that? We're in episode four. It's nine, oh my god, Anonymous, you're going fucking crazy. 
Thank you. We're, we're gonna get to 600 subs today. That's nuts. Card, thank you again. Jag chill. Seriously. Ben makes an appearance on House of Villains? What? Ben? Chef Ben? That's what they're saying. Oh, we've been missing a low deck. He did? Wow. For a while, babe. Is he a villain? Thank you, Casey. It was weird. <laughs> you only know Chef Joe? Fair enough. They bring in other villains to host the challenges. Uh, so far, Ben doesn't seem like a villain. I do think it's fucking villainous how much he mentions molecular gastronomy. Like, shut the fuck up, make food. But, you know. Homer Rosa vs. New York's legendary? I can imagine. Thank you, Rude Queen. Okay, guys, do you... I, I want to just jump straight into this Brian Steele if we can, because... Thank you, Heater. Appreciate it. Uh, I want to get straight into it, because I'm trying to do this Brian Steele, watch Flavor of Love, and then go back to America's apartment. I gotta work out tonight still. That's crazy. And I'm holding myself accountable to that. America's not watching AGT tonight? Maybe she is in her laptop, who knows? <laughs> hmm. She'll catch up. America's gonna play spooky soon. When she's in a when she's in a gaming mood, well, I'll get her on. Don't worry. Do I like zebra cakes? Of course not. Thank you, Anonymous. You're not working out. Don't lie. I am. It's gonna be crazy. Papa Corey. Does America have a Twitch she needs a gift sub? No. She's, she's like, cool. Put the Brant the Brant steel on the other thing. Okay, uh, I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in once it's more real. I mean, I can do it now. It doesn't matter. I'm just getting uh, getting it ready. Thank you, Kajoran. All right, so here's the thing. Let me ask you guys. Do we want to just do the BB25 cast or do we want to make it like duos from Big Brother history? Because I think the BB25 thing could be fun, but it might be a little bit tired, you know? Duos, I figure, right? Okay, so First of all, what district do you think America and I are? Because obviously we're going to be a district. 
Because I, I think I know my answer for what district we are. Twelve? I see someone say District 6. I was thinking 6, but everyone's saying 12, so we'll be the main characters, I guess. What's 6? What? Six. Think, like, livestock or something? Or 6 is textiles, right? 6 is textiles? Someone check me. I don't understand. What? Is it not, like, updated? What? Eight is textiles. Guys, why doesn't it? They don't have BB-25, but they do somewhere. You can use the updated Hunger Games Simulator. There's an updated Hunger Games Simulator? Where? Where? Help, find it. Thank you, Anonymous. I think I could fix this. I, I think I know how to do this in a good way. I can fix this, don't worry. I got this. Before, so I'm gonna do this, but does anyone else, are there any other duos from Big Brother 25 that we think we need? Cause I think obviously we should get, I think Matt and Jag is fun. You guys want Izzy and Suri? And then, and then I'll stop it at that, because it gives me more work if I have to do more than that. Alright, I'll do I'll do Suri and Izzy. I'm putting Matt and Jag as District 1 for sure. I think Suri and Izzy, what do we think? No chillers. Cody and Derek District 2 is absolutely correct. What'd you say? It's like the... Like, privilege. Like, <laughs> nuclear weapons. Alright. Uh, oh my god, Katie, thank you so much. We're at 600. We passed it. That's crazy. It's a lot of money. I'm rich. <laughs> Thank you so much, Katie, though. I appreciate it. I appreciate everything. Uh, Alright. Now let me get some pictures up. I know how to do this because I because me and my friend Matt used to do this shit all the time where we would do our own little Brent steals and then I would do it here and I would throw you here, right? Sorry, you guys gotta give me just a second while I, like, do this shit. Um... Yeah, 
and then we have to get a picture for America Lopez. Just enjoy the music for now, okay? Alright, so now I need a picture of Jag. Thank you, Mom, a butterfly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I need a matte one. Sure, this is fine. Uh, we're gonna do this one. <laughs> That's good. You guys are gonna like that. Link. Alright, now we need... Just Suri and Izzy are the last ones. We'll do a survivor picture of Suri. I think that's what she would want. Copy link. We're almost there, guys. Just give me a second. And then Izzy is the last one we need. Image. Copy link. And. Okay, uh, so now I'm going to share the screen again. Alright, so now we gotta start picking people. District 2, I think the Hitman's a good idea. So we're gonna go, uh, Big Brother and let's think about this. So, Derek Lavasser and Cody Calafiore. Do we want season... We're going to do season 22, Cody Calafiore, right? Because we want him at his best, I think. Alright, now District 3. Give me some District 3 ideas. Joseph and Taylor. What, what, what is Joseph and Taylor's district? I mean, none of them really work. I think we're going to give up on the actual, like, districts mattering, right? Uh... Big brother. Big brother. They don't even have season 24? No, they don't have season 24. Thank you, Petty. I appreciate it. If they weren't really a duo, that's fair. That's fair. Janelle and Kaser? Yeah, that, that's, that's an easy one. We'll do season 6 Kaser and... Uh, I'll go season seven, Janelle. I think this is Janelle's best season. Okay, and now District Five. Gina Maria, Nick Yuhas. Dan in Memphis. Casey and Tyler. Brenchel. Oh, Brenchel obviously gets in, right? Brendan and Rachel are in. You guys want Zanky? Sure. We'll do it. Alright. 
Renegades? Sure. We'll do, we'll do Danon with this. I get on board with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go Ian. I don't fucking want him. I mean, no, because Dan and Dan and Ian are not a fucking duo. Let's be real. That's that's crazy. It's Memphis. That's just the reality. Danielle and Jason. That's a that's an obvious one. Come on. Of course. Of course. Alright. Couple slots left. June and Allison, for sure. Alright, June and Allison are there. Kevin and Helena? Fuck it. We'll go Big Brother Canada, sure. I don't think they have it. I think it's too recent. It's too recent, too recent, too recent. Ica and Dimitris. Paul and Victor. You guys prefer Paul and Victor or Nicole and Victor? Will and Boogie, I mean, they that's they have to be. I'm sorry, they, they have to be. We'll do Season 7 Will and Season 7 Boogie. Paul and Josh? Oh, Will's restraining order? It doesn't apply to the Hunger Games. If you get picked, you get picked. Now, there's a lot of good options. You guys want a, a two women team? I'm down with that. Keisha and Libra? Are they really a duo? I'm not doing the Nolan twins. Brittany and Nicole from Reindeer Games. Davon and Bailey. Haley and Rockstar. Keisha and Rennie is interesting. Alright, if you guys want Davon and Bailey, I'll, I'll give it to you. I thought they were really frustrating to watch. Because I was always rooting for them and they never were able to pull, a, pull through for me. Ever. Like, they actually did the opposite of that every time. It was super annoying. Us with you in America, we did better than Bailey and Devon. <laughs> uh, give us that. Uh, the Jag one didn't work. All right, one second.
this shit's so annoying! I know how to do it now. It'll be ready in five seconds. Gotta get copy and paste three more links. One second. Last one! Oh, thank fucking god. Alright, we're good. We're there. We're there. Alright, let's look at some options. What do we want, a high death rate? Medium. I'm thinking... I wanna do decrease. Yo, it's the bloodbath. You, like, we can't bullshit here. If you die at the bloodbath, die at the bloodbath. What are you gonna do? You know what I mean? Alright. Let's do this shit. Matt runs away. Will grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. Still get a backpack, that's good. It's better than nothing, right? Bailey takes a spear. She's not fucking around. Dan rips a mace out of Brendan's hand. I do not like Dan's odds against Brendan. Jason runs away. Sri backpack. Corey takes a spear. Wait. fixed it's fixed interesting interesting all right well uh let's proceed well this this reroll did not work out for dad <laughs> i got it i got it i know i understand so this reroll did not work out for dad <laughs> derek settles the debate 
once and for all. Exploding, Dan. In the arms of an angel. Yep. Keep it down. I grab a spear. That's good. Danielle's got a sword. Allison runs away. Brandon runs away. Suri runs away. Rachel pushes Devon off a cliff during a knife fight. Keep it down. See ya, Devon. Devon does not make the jury again. Tragedy. Memphis, bow and arrow. Bailey's got a backpack. Matt. Matt get, goes straight for the alcohol. Frankie gets alcohol. America stays at the Cornucopia for resources. That's ballsy. Boogie clutches a first aid kit. Zach snatches a bottle of alcohol. Jag scares Janelle away. Izzy runs away. Cody breaks June's nose for a basket of bread. Classic Cody behavior. Will grabs a sword. Jason's got water. Kaser gets a backpack. Allison gets a spear. Will questions his sanity. Someone sent Brendan a fucking hatchet. God damn. Izzy makes a slingshot. Izzy would. Janelle defeats Cody in a fight but spares his life. Wow. Wow. Janelle. Danielle stalks Memphis. Sure that's not backwards? Frankie gets food. Rachel injures herself. Derek starts firewoods. Zach and Jag are working together. Oh no. Bailey drops a higher ground. Suri. America sprains her ankle while running away from June. It's okay. She's still fine. She's still fine. Diva injured? She's not she's injured, but she's not down. Matches building. Kaser has a shack. Boogie's running away from me. Alright. Brendan screaming for help. Cody's unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Zach is awoken by nightmares. Memphis screams for help. Danielle questions her sanity. Jason cooks his food before putting his fire out. Corey quietly hums. House guess. Humming is the same as singing. Please stop humming. You guys ever hear that? America remembers it. Uh, Jag thinks about winning. Oh, no. <laughs> it's over, dude. Fuck. Janelle receives food. Oh, what the fuck is this alliance? Frankie, Grande, Mike, Boogie, Rachel, Matt, and Allison? You guys see something in common? Nightmare blunt rotation. Yeah. Kyle's dream. Sounds about white. <laughs> Derek's working my nightmares. Alright, this is a fun group. Izzy, America, Bailey, and Will. This is the squad. June cooks food before putting your fire out. Kaser receives an explosive. That's scary. Brenda goes hunting. Janelle constructs a shack. Matt diverts Izzy as his attention runs away. Me, Will, Frankie, and Danielle Reyes. I like that. Jason's hunting. America and Cody are working together hunting. Kaser and Allison split up. Memphis runs away from Suri. Jack runs away from June. All right, kind of a kind of slow, slow day two. Doctor Will stabs Danielle in the back with a trident. Damn. The Legion of Doom is no more. This is a tragedy. You guys remember the Legion of Doom? What a cool fucking alliance. Season 7 all over again? That's right. Zack stays awake. Rachel's welcome my nightmares. Corey and Brendan huddle for warmth. Jag. Frankie, Bailey, America. Hacer ambushes Derek and kills him. If you guys didn't stand Kaser already. <laughs> yes, Kaser, let's go kill him. This 
Siri cries herself to sleep. Based. Um. This is an even whiter alliance somehow. America hunts. Bailey and myself are hunting. Me, America, and Bailey cheerfully sing songs together. I like that. Cody and Jag hold hands. Jag was trying to hold everyone's hand in the house. Allison stabs Jason with a tree branch. Oh my god. Allison would, though. Damn, the Secret Alliance has gotten fucked up. America's trying to spearfish. June's trying to spearfish. Zach injures himself. Matt stalks Memphis. Brendan hunts. Izzy's practicing archery. Janelle collects fruit. Will discovers a cave. Kaser's fishing. Me and Jag are working together. Bailey discovers a cave. Not too much happening. Just Jason's dying on day four. Zach kills Bailey with a hatchet. Mmm. Oh yeah, yeah. So, shockingly, Bailey and Devon already done. American will tell stories about each other, or themselves to each other. Corey screams for help. Cody's humming. Corey searching firewood. Sure. Memphis tends to Cody's wounds. It's his dream. June accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. I feel like all of your heroes are going out kind of early, chat. Is that is that fair to say? Who do you guys still have to root for? Kaser and Allison? Allison dies trying to escape the arena. Alright, we'll see what happened to America. America's hunting. She's fine. She's not camouflaged. Okay. Alright, so... Tough night. Bailey, June, and Allison. It's a tough boot order. Maybe it can be turned around. Matt stabs Kaser while his back is turned. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a... This is a bad timeline. Imagine if I just didn't screw up the names the first time. We could be living in a whole different world right now. Cody begs for Frankie to kill him. He refuses keeping Cody alive. They're so fucking dramatic. Oh my god. It's so dramatic. Dr. Wills gets a hatchet. Corey and Jag talk about the tributes still alive. Zach gets clean water from an unknown sponsor. America receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Janelle destroys Memphis's supplies. Brandon thinks about winning. Rachel and Suri hold hands. The traitor's connection. Boogie taints Cody's food, killing him. Okay. Thank you, Pancake. Say what you will about Boogie, but he's... You can bounce checks in the Big Brother house, you know what I mean? Jag's exploring. Rachel receives an explosive. I'm searching firewood. Izzy sleeping. America and Janelle hunt for other tributes. You do not want them to find you. Dr. Will trips on a rock and falls off a cliff. The arena turns pitch black and no one can see a thing. Alright. For context. Will off a cliff. America survives. Rachel survives. Memphis trips on a rock and falls off a cliff. Izzy survives. Corey finds and kills Matt, who is making too much noise. Cerise survives. Brendan survives. While fighting, Zach and Janelle lose their balance, roll down a jagged hillside, and die. Is... 
the word jagged. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Boogie survives. Frankie accidentally makes contact with a spiny, lethal plant life. Frankie's dead. Jag survives. That this this event took a lot of people. Holy. Kaser's dead. Cody's dead. Will's dead. Memphis is dead. Matt's dead. Zach's dead. Janelle's dead. Frankie's dead. Can we see statuses? Let's do it. So we have Jag from District 1. We have Sarizzi from District 4. Both of them still alive. Brenchel still alive in their entirety. Mike. Mike Boogie. He's alive in District 10. And then America and I both alive. No one's got more than one kill. I'll tell you what, BB-25 is kind of killing it. We have five of the remaining eight people. Corey in the final eight. Uh-oh. Jag gets clean water. Boogie tends to America's wounds. Suri thinks about home. Izzy's woken by nightmares. Rachel convinces Corey to snuggle with her. Turn that off. Boogie's tending to your wounds right now. Cut the camera's dead ass. Izzy kills Corey as he tries to run. No! I got eighth! <laughs> yeah, yeah. No! I put Izzy onto that. America sets off an explosive killing Rachel, Brendan, Jag, and Suri. Yeah, I had it out for Rachel. <laughs> and then Boogie steps on a landmine? Is it just... <laughs> America just committed a war crime. I think it's just... It's just American Izzy, right? <laughs> What the fuck? America kills Izzy with her own weapon and America has won the Hunger Games? Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! I deserve two after the mass murder I just committed. Five people? Four? With five kills, the next closest being one kill. Fucking hell. That that season kind of turned around, huh? That is some shit. Eighth place again. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. what I do? You cuddling with Rachel was her Joker arc? The producers ate with the pitch black twist. America would have said Hakuna Matata. Redo this max kills. Alright, and then we're watching Flavor of Love, okay? Very high death rate. Let's go. Come on. Let's let's skip forward a bit. Let's just let's just get going. Let's see let's see what's going on here. Cody's first death. You guys feel okay with that? Allison, Bailey, and Izzy die. That's a tough night. I refuse. Memphis keeps me alive. Let's go. Frankie, Rachel, Dan, and Suri die. No way America's a two-time victor, right? Day dies again. I strangled Janelle. That's tough. I keep Matt alive. Janelle and Kaser tonight. That's tough. Matt strangles Memphis. Brendan fucks me up, goddamn. Dr. Will attacks America, but Derek protects her, killing Dr. Will. Wow. 
America is kind of cooking again. You got the Hitmen alive, or not the Hitmen, the Minutemen. Derek of the Hitmen. You got Brendan, June, and America again. America has four kills, by the way, mind you. Alright, so there goes June. Matt dies from hunger. Alright, so America's in the final fucking four. America's stalking Jag. Okay. America has eaten my wolves. <laughs> it's tough. So is Brendan. So is Derek. And the victor is the Jagman. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, oh, hey, I be glad this is the one I just sped through, okay? No fucking way! How is this possible? How do I get eighth every fucking time? It's your thing? It's not a good thing. It's my angel number? I don't know what an angel number is. Is that a thing? Yo, America, you ready for some flavor of love? Yeah. All right. We'll, uh, we'll set the mood lighting. Get her a blanket. Oh, we got it covered. Don't worry. Left. Yep. Our victor. Hello. Hi, y'all. You should have just ended it when I won. She has nine kills in two games. He had to end it with the Jag winning. Like, we haven't seen that before. It's in like an unreasonable number of kills. Okay. Nine. Episode four. So there's like eight episodes left. They must start eliminating people like in groups of one now, I guess, right? Oh my god. I'm so sleepy. It's think, so early. I think the light's too bright. That's better, I think. Yeah, it's cozier. The episode three recap, they saw kids and old people and he went home. Well, he picked, um, what's her name? Sirius. Sirius was gone. But she was for the one-on-one -on -one and then. And then. Red Oyster. And then the hippie was. Ratted her in. out yeah. and said, she she's, not here for the right, yeah, she's not here for the right reasons. And she was right. Goldie was popping off. Hottie said she looked like Beyonce. New York Beyonce, 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 Beyonce. Are serious and peaches? Yeah, they're they're gone. Right. <laughs> Today, Flavor Flav has got a. Special surprise for the remaining eight girls. Oh wow, you look oh, no. nice. Yo, ladies, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Who do you think this guest is? Oh my God. 
on, let's go, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm gonna have these girls meet someone that's very, very dear to me. Hey, what's up, y'all? Good morning, good morning. Like a pet. How you doing? Flav came around and woke everybody up this morning. We're like, oh my gosh, what what's gonna happen? I need y'all right now for a second. Oh, you look great. Hey, girl. His children. Yeah, I think I need to put more effort into trying it, to impress Flav. Mom, I saw so to come too. to him a little bit more. I really let him know how I'm feeling. New York. Hey, girl. I need y'all out here right now, man. So, can you uh get the tissue out your butt? Flav, you know, he really did surprise me. I was just gonna be so sexy and seductive, so my plan was ruined. But I definitely didn't have paper in between my ass. <laughs> I mean, everybody out here right now, this is serious, serious business. After Flav and I went on our date the other night, that's he was crazy. Like, now is the time Under to it. really, you know, do your thing if you're gonna do your thing. I just don't move that fast. I hear you, but I don't want you to move that slow either. <laughs> I've done my best to be it's not in the same. How long would it take you to come across? Like New York, because I how think long would it to taste like, your mouth? How many weeks would it take for you to come across? It's a real serious moment, all right? I look down. How do you at the bottom of the stairs looking like Gomer Powell with a darn army <laughs> outfit on? <laughs> hey, she's crazy. She's a loony. She's ready for the kids again. Goldie this. is. Watch this. A gem. Everybody, I want y'all to meet my mother. There you go. Mom. My mother is Anna Drayton. Ma, these are the girls. My mother is definitely a church person. Yo, what's Who up, do we Ma? think mom's gonna like? I'm just calling to find out where are you located. Oh, we're going to church? In the next baby. That's point. crazy. The service will have already been in process. I am leaving immediately. <laughs> now, this is what's popping. I'm going to church with my moms, all right? I was so nervous. Flav mentioned about going to church, and I was like, the only thing that I ever did was just pray in bed, and I didn't even get on my knees. Well, not for that, anyways. <laughs> but we got. Smiley talking about Get ready, get ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Help me make good decisions, bro. I need some good advice from you, that's all. I like you're carrying the Bible in. <laughs> this is gonna be tough for me. I, I can't get ready to go anywhere in 30 minutes. <laughs> America always go goes like, I can get ready in five like, what minutes. What am I gonna wear? What am I gonna do? And I say, you can't. Like, she goes, mom I can't. Your ass is in there. And then she doesn't. <laughs> it's crazy. What about it? <laughs> and to be like that in church, I mean, that's like you're spitting in God's face. Yo, we did the first two AmeriCorps cameos today. Guess what the average time was? Oh, you were so mad too. After the first one, he's like, you gotta let me speed things up. When we, <laughs> we gotta move past the questions eight a little minutes? faster. Okay, it's not eight minutes. It's ten and a half minutes. I did the math. We're averaging ten and a half minutes in these cameos. The question is like, have you like, do you like your apartment? And then she takes them on a tour and then it's like, here's the other units I could have gotten. And she's walking across the street. <laughs> like, I think it's funny when I like step out of the frame and I look back at you and you're like, yeah, they, they are expensive. So I think it's fair. But yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Let his mom in my panties. I have to be conservative. Oh my god. I need to know what a hottie is going to wear. I think I can do this. I know it's going to be crazy. Okay, no. I must say that it was an awful scene, but as usual, I pulled it off. I looked amazing. But Hottie comes out with this big, huge red cape on, and you know, she wound up looking like the devil himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, do you know where we're going? It's the house of the Lord. Have some respect. Come on, lady. Girls. <laughs> big red. She looked good. Why is she wearing the red cape? How's everybody, okay? Good morning. Good morning. Oh my god, Big Rick. And we walked up to the front. Big Rick better get paid well. Service was beautiful, man. Look 
think my barb is one. A choir will slam man. Not the clock at church. Good dog on time. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, where's the rhythm? Right away, sir. Oh, oh no, what's going on? This She's is right sabotage. Next to his mom too. This is this is. Fucked up editing. Oh. Very Corey Core. No way. The Somebody look above and thing. just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Corey stole Red Oyster's move. In their own personal ways. Goldie's my past, and I guess it's been weighing on her heart recently. We invite those couples in our church who are celebrating wedding anniversaries. The thing that really hit me was when I saw all the people that came together and they were married. I lost it. Again. You know, I didn't like the fact that I had to rush and get ready for church. I look like a wreck. <laughs> I haven't had that much time with Mama yet, so I really did want to get in there and just cut Oyster off and just sit next to Mom. You come back and visit us sometime. All right, let's see. Let's see what her move is here. Yeah, she's. She's cooking something. And I think it's truly important for her to know that I love her son, and she will know that before she leaves. After church, I took the girls and my mother, and I dropped them off at the Scarlet Tea Room. All right, girls, see you later, all right? OK, he's sleeping. I've never done a tea room. It was so fancy schmancy and everything. Ladies, I will be speaking with you individually to know a little more about you. Mm -hmm. My mother always wants the best for their son. She's holding court. This is Bowie. She's looking for someone that would be loyal. You guys remember when Bowie held court? That was true. crazy. So I forgot about that. For no reason. Who was it? Was this during Zombie Week? The best man to win. Maybe. Because it was no each week, right? You know, I think I have a lot to offer somebody, and I think I have a lot to offer your son. It's very crazy being here, and everybody fighting for the affection of Flay's mom. First day is obviously. <laughs> okay, you make people feel comfortable, so. Yeah, you do. I do. Yeah, you do. I was scared to this, but uh, as soon as I got to the table, I was comfortable. A little bit. When do you go back home? How long you to be with us? I will be leaving here on Tuesday. Flav's mom is, she's incredible, but I don't think I made like a big enough impression on her. I hope. Uh, is this like, Hoops' later, boot like, episode? I got a chance to make a connection with her. Yeah, this, this reeks of My Hoops name boot. Is Tika. It's you were wrong last episode, so. Joy in the place of sorrow when something bad happens. Oh, I'll take that again. I was busy looking at that biscuit. Deepy open. Tika. Mm -hmm. Joy in the place of sorrow. Mm -hmm. I used to be signed to Capitol Records. I used to wear long white wigs and a big old hat like Slash and jump around crazy on the stage. <laughs> when it came to me, I'm crazy about things that I've like accomplished so let them know that I understand it all, been there, done that. So I got a little bit of flavor in me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just a biscuit too. Um I was trying to rattle it off fast, but I just felt stupid, like it just like it wasn't good at all. We're just gonna go along with it. Talk about the biscuit. Okay. I have an Ivy League college degree. I have owned residential. Whoa, wait, wait. What I Ivy League did Hottie graduate from? Do some research. Brown. Pen. Okay, let's go, hottie. Successfully managing finances. Clay's mom would be my mom-in-law, so I'm not just a reflection on him, I'd be a reflection on her, too. I don't smoke. Um, I barely drink alcohol. I don't use curse words. I go to senior centers and elementary <laughs> schools and do volunteer work. I was kind of playing the back 
today with Flav's mom, trying to be considerate of how she may be feeling, you know, but at the same time let her know <laughs> what my intentions are regarding her son. Can I? Yeah, absolutely. This is Drake, and I just felt like we gotta get an opportunity to tell you what my intentions truly are. I'm a pure woman inside. I can truly sit here and tell you that <laughs> I love your son. Seriously, I do. I think for New York to say that she was in love with Flav proves that she needs to be certified. I mean, the mom looked like she was gonna gag. <laughs> <laughs> She's a pure woman. Mm. Would you consider yourself a pure woman? Today, what do you brought think? my mom, Miss Anna Drake, <laughs> to meet these girls so my mother can see which one could be for her son. I think we missed out not seeing the Goldie and right, play his mom listen, interaction. I need some matter of opinions from you. Now, we pull this curtain back. What you think, Ma? I keyed in a little more on the hobby. What is your feeling about that? I'm going to try to get to know her tonight. Let me see if I can get the rub up on her tonight. <laughs> I mean, rub her, her <laughs> elbows. Okay. Rub elbows. You know, Ma, you know what I'm trying to say. Ma, I'm gonna see if I could just strike up a nice conversation with her and stuff and uh, see what your son Brother. can do, man. Mm -hmm. Know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My mom, she don't play. And there's something about her, and I'm, I haven't connected as of yet. And I took Sweetie out on a date. I like Sweetie. What do, what do you think about her? No. So you wasn't failing her. She just sounded like she was bragging. And then all of a sudden, it became a desperation of... Of I, wanting to win? Yes. I used to be signed to Capitol Records. OK. I got a little bit of flame in me, too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my mom, she's gonna definitely tell it like it is. You gave me exactly what I need. Thank you for your help. It's not Jared talking a story about blue. So this after my mom's thing. leave, I decide to have some one-on-one -on -one dates with these girls. Your man Flavor Flav. Oh, this is a crazy thing. What's going bit. on? You know what I'm saying? I had a couple of bottles of champagne, you know what I'm saying? Strawberries, two big buckets of chicken. Oh my whole god. Mission was to see all these eight girls. Mind you, it's seven o'clock at night. How was I gonna do this? Let's do the math. I got eight girls, one hour each. Last date is at three. Yeah, Flay. He's doing, he's doing eight hour, An hour long dates, he's crazy. What? If you're number eight, you're fucked. That is tough. Whoa, shit. Tonight is gonna be like my first time having like personal time with Flav for like an hour. So now I think it's my chance to show Flav that I'm really feeling him. Hey, what makes you love me like this? Because you love me back. And that's it. Cool. She knows how to work her <laughs> and she's working it. But I don't know what she's really feeling with her boy Flav. I'm gonna put my finger on it. I'm gonna try to put my finger on it. He's gonna rub his elbows on it. She'll let me put my finger on it. You ain't been coming nowhere near me. Mm -hmm. So, Operation Curiosity is in process. Mm -hmm. Goldie, I'm kind of curious about her. I just wanted to see what's going on with the country bumpkin. <laughs> you looking good, then. I don't know, man. Looks, I look at, I'm over here looking like a Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Come on, taste it, taste yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for a woman that's going to show me the real her. Hey, baby. Hmm. Don't pretend. Not... Is this like speech where you want the middle Boy. spot? I always like being like fourth or fifth. I think it'd be good to have like the 11 p.m. Hottie, you know? She got the big knockers, G. She got the big knockers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Next run up was New York. She's definitely chocolate eye candy. You know me. I'll give you the big one. I know you. You have a lot of big meat waiting for me. Thank you. There's a man below. <laughs> 
I am very excited with my one-on-one. -on -one. See, this isn't a date. This is an intel gathering session. Red Oyster has been. Red Oyster. Red Oyster has been circumnavigating. She's been collecting all the information. Now it's time to pass right. it on to Flay. And I'm just gonna let nature take its course because you can't plan and strategize romance. <laughs> Flay, you have more dates after this. Girl, You're wake him up. <laughs> There's tears in her eyes. <laughs> Sleep. For a second. I ain't gonna lie, folks. Flavor Flav right now is getting pretty tired. <laughs> Who could have seen this coming? Oh my god. Who does he need? Sweetie? Hey, that was hey, you want a piece of chicken? Gotta be chicken. I just want you. Whoa. You ain't get, um, I mean, you, wait, huh? When Flay and I went on our last date, he kind of let me know, like, if I'm not interested in being physical, that I'm, I might be out the door, you know? This is horrible. Yeah, she's playing the game, though. She's playing the game, but he's, like, coercing her. Flavor Flav! Oh. I wanted to taste your mouth. How long would it take? Three more weeks. <laughs> Can I sit in your lap? So now I have to step it up a notch. <laughs> Next thing you know, she gets up on my lap, she starts dancing, whoa, <laughs> like sweet. He's awake now. <laughs> Man, of course, birthday. But I don't think she really has this real. <laughs> we forgot to mention that the lap dance was actually yeah, with Felicia nice. facing Corey. That's not true. My mom's going, sweetie. Didn't seem real. <laughs> All of a sudden, it became a desperation of of wanting to win. Yes. And my mom's ain't stupid, so I don't know. Come on, man. I want you like as my sweetie, like I took out the dinner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Let me tell you something. Real yeah. recognizes real. I almost did it. I made it through seven. Bye. All right. He made it through seven. Wait, what does that mean? No, He's just where's going to bed. Day? By no, the time pumpkin already I got came. Come eight, on. Smiley. I she was asleep, and you know what? I was more than glad that she was sleeping because I was sleepy oh, too. Oh, Smiley's but done. I will have her date tomorrow. But word, that was a long, long night. For See, Flav has so, to make these thirty minutes. That's crazy. I want to go to sleep right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, New uh -oh. York. No. Knock comes on my door. Bang, bang, bang. You get smiling? Wouldn't it be? It just feels York? like New York behavior. <sighs> or or sweetie behavior. Play, play She's been real desperate. Am I wrong? Getting undressed. You don't think Smiley uh, Smiley's trying to do the day in the their room? That could be on my genius. Door. Who is it? My girl who? Oh, Next okay. thing you know, hey, pumpkin. Flavor Flay! She comes. What's going on here? And pumpkin? A thruple? Oh, I was laying up in my bed. Oh, man, you don't know. They made an Flavor alliance. Flavor Flay. Drowning in the sea of women. We'll be the three-way rats. We need more people to do standing confessionals. It adds a whole dimension to Flav. His confessionals are so good. Yeah. Uh-oh, what? Is this? New York came in there, had hardly nothing on, and ready to do her do. We totally had him took up. Cigarette in hand is home. crazy. Pumpkin and hoops. They're both sluts trying to sleep with my man. I was a little upset, but if he was there, I wanted to be there. What can I say? You know, Flav brings passion out of me. <laughs> this is great. This he couldn't keep his hands off of me. 
couldn't keep I'm his. I'm not going head. anywhere, and I'm totally here for Flav. I woke up to all of these beautiful, gorgeous, sexy items. Items? Oh, no! 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 You know you want to do it, Flav. Don't do it, Flav. I'm gonna get up and go down to the water. Y'all gonna come with me? Yep. I was about 80 seconds of a centimeter from doing it. Seconds of a I was about 80 seconds of a centimeter from doing it. What? Okay, come on, let's do this. 80 seconds of a Close centimeter? Call. Mad Libs ass sentence. <laughs> I like a woman that's about a 94, 67, 87. What's your figure? 34 double D's, all natural, 26, 36. Wait, what? Her waist and gonna get? it's her measurements. Yeah, but what's the, why is it so crazy? It just scrolled on. Double D. 26, 36. 36. That's a 26? Yeah, it is. 26 is like you, 26. babe. The only 26 inch around anything on Hottie is her neck. Bottoms and stacks can be packed. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind them 38 and 39Ds going on around here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Look at you! Wild! Check this out. Serious... Serious speaking, all jokes aside now, y'all, listen. Uh -oh, I like to eat. And I like a girl that can cook. Uh-oh. Is this the chicken episode? Fried chicken tonight. Oh, <laughs> my back-to-back <laughs> -back iconic <laughs> episodes. Babe, I've been talking about this one. Yes, this ever. This is <laughs> great. I'm so scared of being a chicken whole and raw. I don't do well with that. I love food. And even though I ain't no bigger than a bottle of ketchup, I do eat a lot. So I really do need me a girl that's kind of good around the kitchen. And then after we get back from the day, then I have to eliminate one person. One person is going to have to leave me tonight. I ain't going to lie. I love eye candy. I got plenty of it in the house right now, too. Some of it is going to go home tonight. So ladies, it's sweet. let's get cooking. It's gotta be. Did she say she can't cook either? Corn flakes there for her. Good morning. Fry. Good morning. The so purpose of you being here is to prepare my chicken. You know the brother like his chicken? Now, I got your recipe right here. Oh. All your ingredients are here. Wait, I forgot. They got a recipe? All the catch is, ladies, you only get 30 minutes. 30 minutes? It's pretty tough. And I'm like... I can't do this. I can't do this. It's impossible. Well, they gotta break it up. When Where? I was like five years old, I was at my grandparents' house. They own a big, huge farm, and one of the roosters chose to like peck me really, really hard. He took like two big fat chunks of meat out of my leg. He marked <laughs> me for life. And then my grandmother had to like kill him. And ever since that day, I've never been able to touch chicken again. That is a that is a origin story. Yeah. As a Joker moment. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right, ladies. I'm ready. But begin on my command, okay? I have a question. Yes. Can we call it, uh, like, call and have it catered or no? No. <laughs> okay. Everybody ready? Yes. On That's crazy. I love cooking. That's what I grew up doing. I was the second mother to my five <laughs> younger sister. That's the I'm pet so education. At home in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, that's what they teach you. I've never made fried chicken before, so I just followed the recipe exactly. Is it supposed to be boneless? Come on, Miss Sweetie, you okay, buddy? Oh, no. Hang in there. Not happening. I shouldn't have to use this. Hey, Miss Hoops, can I have a piece of You're gonna be good at this. You gotta imagine. Hoops looks good. You gotta imagine Goldie's good at this, right? Oh, stop talking to me. Just yeah, I mean, like. Uh, Miss New York, yeah. how's it going? Goldie's like there, so yeah. I don't think this is cooked. How did it get soupy? Time is running out. 
I know that my chicken is going to be the best because I was like raised like vegetarian with a lot of fresh vegetables, so I incorporated vegetables into my recipes. <laughs> It's not even I mean, almost cooked. Dumb. I couldn't believe that someone would actually, you know, prepare a chicken like that. Do you like to try some? Oh, no, I, I'm not allowed, but thank you. <laughs> okay. The jelly. <laughs> I went to the microwave, put the chicken in, and there was a button that said, chicken. <laughs> she thought the button that said chicken was to cook a whole chicken. I think putting a chicken in the microwave is like the most sanitary thing to do, plus it doesn't have all the extra calories from the grease. Let's not knock it until Flav tries it. Oh, this reveal is gonna be crazy. Yo, mom, what's poppin'? Hi, Rico. Oh, that's oh, mom. Is and she knows that I really do need me a girl. Oh, honey's going home. That's kind of good around the kitchen. You sit right here, mom. I got a cooking standoff going on, right? Each one of these girls cook some chicken, ma. Well, I want you to take notes on each tray that comes out. And honestly, I'm not gonna know whose tray it is. I'm just gonna taste it and then whoever got the best chicken this is like I want to take punishable by tonight. death oh like this is an auto elimination <laughs> if she's his no, favorite before this this should still eliminate her ad all right we'll, we'll, we'll wait for the ad we'll wait for the ad i don't i don't want people to miss this how long is the ad i i don't know how long is the ad Thank you for the gift. I appreciate it. Anonymous. Yo, yo, how much longer are the ads supposed to be? It's okay. We can wait. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't remember his mom being there. That makes it so much funnier. Yeah, look, there's one surefire way to avoid ads. That is subscribing. You could link your Amazon account to your Twitch account and get a free subscription through Amazon Prime. Or you could just sub for $5. Or you can do an ad blocker. It's your choice. Thank you, Afe. Appreciate it. Subbing with Prime. It works. Sell out. Yeah. Done. Not gonna lie, I couldn't figure out how to sub with Prime. It's not that hard. I'll give it another minute. Rightfully so, selling out. Hey, everyone's selling out in their way, one way or another. I don't know how to sub with Prime. You try to link your Amazon account to your Twitch account. All right, let's do it. A big brother. So you're right. Are you ready to eat some fried chicken, my brother? You think I... Yeah, I don't know why. What's up, Mr. Blade? Oh, you couldn't see in my... Thank you, so Jackie. It's Cam. Thank you, Lauren. I can't hear anything, I don't know why. One sec. You're right. Okay. Alright, yeah, we're good. Are you ready to eat some fried chicken, my brother? You think I ain't, brother? I was so anticipating seeing my dish. I knew that Flav would appreciate the effort I put into the dish and the vegetable recipe, specifically since it was for his mom. Thank you, lady. Like I appreciate it. I'll remove this. All right, Ma. What you think, Ma? How does it feel? Is it soft? You know, it feels like this might be done. Okay. I'm like, okay, what well, could be good? It could not be good. I hope it's good. How do we do hoops? Sounds crunchy. No, Sounds good. I like this. Mm -hmm. For number one, write the word good. Okay. Good. I'm like, he would be so happy that I made that chicken. Thank you, Anonymous. So I was like, 
New York, we're overcooked a little bit. <laughs> They're definitely saving it for last. Oh, it's chewy as hell. Don't move! <laughs> oh, you kill me, man. <laughs> Pedro loves it. <laughs> I've never fried chicken. I don't eat fried chicken, so I didn't really want him to bite Why into it because I apple? didn't think it was cooked all the way through. Wait, it ain't even done. It's not done. Hold up. Hold up, man. Uh, is he throwing up? I was kind of a little embarrassed when he ran into the bathroom to spit out my raw chicken. Yo. But I knew no matter what, my chicken was better than Hottie's. The judging process was nerve-wracking because I was the final one and I knew She's that killing it in confessional. It wasn't fried in like heavy oil would win this date for me. <laughs> it ain't cooked. Just because it's not fried, you can still microwave it and it is cooked. I just want to say whoever number eight was, that wasn't serious, was you? <laughs> oh, she's looking at her uh, she's yo, so good. Definitely appalling that she would even, you know, attempt something out like that to serve raw poultry to his mom. Ugh, she's nuts. I need you, Rick. Bring me number one and bring me number two. Oops, is taking this. Never cook this one. Come to dinner with me and my mom. Hey. Wire hoops. Ah, good for hoops. Well, come to dinner with me and my mom. I won, and now I'm ecstatic. Wow. <laughs> you are slamming. I was excited and nervous and scared and all the emotions you could think of at the same time because his mom was going to be there. And I really don't know like if she's feeling me or me. not. You know, you never can really tell with with moms. I'm telling you, none of the eliminations have gone the way that all of us had thought they were gonna go. He went out on a date with Sirius and she's gone. He's out on a date with Hoops right now. Yeah, I mean, I know who should be leaving and that's... Hey, brother, how you doing? On our date, we went to a soul food restaurant called Steve's. We had our own little table. And... No red lobster? It was really nice. I tell you what. Let me get some fried pork chops. Put some ox tails on the side. Collard greens, macaroni and cheese. We order all that food and he, and he's, he probably won't even eat half of it. Not even. Thank you, quarter. Anonymous. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Just to see it all. Me and Flay's mom got along pretty good. What do you do as, as a career? She started asking me questions first, so that made me feel Oxtails. comfortable. Back at home, I live in Michigan. From. So back there, my uncle has his own business. And we just like redo houses and stuff. We like knock it out and redo it, and, or a kitchen and put up cabinets or build decks and stuff like that. So we just going. You do that? Yeah. Thank you, anonymous again. I really enjoyed being with her this evening. See, I love her personality. She's loving. And it was like I've known her for some time. Yeah, she yeah, seems right? genuine. Yeah, Oops, this seemed pretty chill. I think my date went good with Flav. Flav is who he is, and his mom. I think we bonded a little bit more, so it was cool. All right, what do we think? It's got to be hot here, right? Smiley. I ain't gonna lie. Hottie was only right cooked here, it. One thing I can say, Rick. Yeah. Yeah. You can't but... cook chicken for <laughs> bro. <laughs> it was. Whoa. But didn't she get along with her mom? With his mom? 
Who was no, not earlier, right? Her, it was asinine. Her, her, she, her, 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 her. I wanna keep her. See ya. Gotta go. See ya. Come on, Ray. Let's do this. How do you try to kill him? Yeah. She, like, no! That she, is that is a crime against humanity. Hottie has to go, I'm sorry. Because oh, look at her, she's ready for the... Slave, ...and she came back talking about it was the best day the of movie. She was was Hottie movie also the one who said she had a 26-inch waist? I'm not sure how this night yeah. will end, to be quite honest. Yeah, she's gotta go. I can't even see, like, how Hottie would stay after today. <laughs> Raw chicken. Yeah, the VOD should be sick. that was, like, a ticket home. Waiting in line, I always get goosebumps and chills. But then I'm saying to myself, New York, stay strong, because this is a man you will one day be with. Nobody can with fate. I'll be glad if New York goes home tonight. I'm really tired of seeing Shrek walk around the house. I just want to say, have a lovely time with all of you ladies. But it's crazy. One of you must go home tonight. Now, when I'm standing in front of these girls every night and I'm doing my elimination ceremonies, I ain't gonna lie, it'd be kind of touching your boy. Smiley was like but barely in that episode. Everybody can't stay. Well, yeah, if you're you to smile, I feel like you, you gotta have a reason to get rid of him, you know? First one that's gonna get a clap from Flav tonight. Oops. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, alright. You know what time Yeah, they had that sleepover. I'm sorry about the chicken. There's like four of them in sleepover. Let me do it like this. Red okay, so New and Hottie. Like, if the both of them stay tonight, I'm seriously considering moving out my room. Red Oyster, come get your clock. Okay, half work. I like Red Oyster. You know what time it is. I know what time it is. I made it through another round, but yet at the same time, I have to room with Hottie. Red Oyster. <laughs> From the dock, driver's stock, let me get another clock. Fred. <laughs> Come on, hoops. Red oyster is the quarry of flavor of love. Like I don't hoops, think that's like true. Long term, I don't know if they'd be happy together. Who's America? Oh. Quick. Who's America? Mm -hmm. Just say it. Whatever. It's first thing that pops in your head. Final seven. It feels really good. I'm still here, so I'm happy. It's about four o'clock left. I am Oops. worried about being eliminated because I slept through the date. Oh, I just felt like it was so disrespectful yeah. because he's just. There's a couple people who say me. New York, and that is not accurate. New York. I was hoping for Hottie. There it is, New like, York. Can't me. cook. I wasn't, you know, surprised, but I was glad I didn't have to wait anymore. I can just go up there, get my clock from my man. <laughs> hey, you know what time it is, baby girl. I sure do. <laughs> New York. <laughs> he picked the bitch. She's the one that walks around here with her head stuck up her ass. Goldie. That's the one. Eeny, beeny, miny, mo. Nah. I just cannot oh. let her go. Everything is Goldie. All right, Smiley's got to be safe, too. Warm, Surely, the winner is great. Karen is New York is Rachel Riley. Yeah, I can see that. Thick girl. Yeah. <laughs> I like that comparison. You know what time it is. I do. It's smiley, sweetie, and hottie. Come on, smiley. <sighs> oh. Damn, it's hottie, isn't it? You still owe me My winner day. pick is still hey, Listen, I was going to say, and I still owe you a date. Uh -huh. So you know what time it is. I do. Oh, All these DRs are the closest to America's and how much they are, eat. Sweetie, he's gotta pick me. Very different confession styles. Left, Good luck, hottie. Good luck, sweetie. Oh, it's gotta be sweetie. I definitely want to stay because the more that I get to spend time with Flame, the more I like him. I just want to say the young lady that's going to be going home tonight, I mean, I like a lot, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think she really feeling me like that, you know what I'm saying? From the sweetie. heart. Sweetie. It's Sweetie. I honestly was not expecting it between they Sweetie gotta and Hottie. Eliminate Hottie. I don't want Sweetie to leave. Hottie's but chicken is so bad. I need to see her in another episode. It's got this to be. can't be it. Can't be it for her. Yo, Hottie, come get this. <gasps> well, she's being so fake. But Hottie, put the chicken in the microwave. <laughs> 
Who cares? She doesn't need to know how to cook. Sweetie and hottie. I mean, hey, you can't take a chicken, put it in a microwave, and serve the damn chicken to my mom's, hottie. But I felt that sweetie wasn't really feeling me like that, you know? Thank you, Flav. You put bacon in the microwave? Morning, Different thing. I was cheering for joy. I was like, woohoo! And Can I turned America back cook? and none of the yeah. other ladies were clapping. I was like, look at those two face chicks. What do you think her name is? Who? Uh, sweetie. Her sweetie. real name? Mm -hmm. I guess I'm love. Candace? Uh, yeah, he said, I don't care about What's you. Her That's name? not. I guess, like, this is a she joke off. to me. You said the person leaves tonight doesn't care about you or is not feeling you? Yeah, I don't think you really feel me like that. I don't think you was feeling me like that, for real. I'm gonna keep it real, homegirl. This is a real decision that I made, for real. And this is for my Meredith. feelings right now. Angela, why are you guys just picking office names? With each one of y'all. This is what I feel. I don't feel you Tweety really feel over here like chicken that. trauma, yeah. You feel me? Miranda. I see two Mirandas. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You have to be kidding me. I freaking cooked a chicken for you today, and I can't even stand chicken, and everybody knows that I was crying my ass off. Why Someone else makes a him? joke of it and presents it in front of your mother, and you think I'm not feeling you? I stay up late at night waiting for my date, and I'm not feeling you? That's true. This is a, a situation. I don't think nobody was expecting Sweetie to flip like that. People are images and reflections of yourself, so maybe you're not feeling yourself. No, it's not that I'm not she's feeling weird. myself. It's she's cooking a little bit. You. Okay. The time is up. Thank you, I appreciate it. Excuse me. Why is she arguing with him? Don't give it to me if it ain't real. No, it's real. I just think that's up. But I'll still pray for you. You'll be all right. And I'm gonna pray for you too, and you're gonna be all right too. God bless y'all. Sweetie's not so sweet. God. Um, yo, check one, two. Um, yeah, Sweetie went off there. And then for somebody to stand there and tell me that I'm not real, are you kidding me? I'm not f***ing real. And the way she left, that was whack. But your man Flavor Flav looks forward, not look back. When he left the <laughs> body who made a chicken to be presented in front of his mother that she stuck in the microwave with carrots and stuff, that's a freaking joke. When he left someone who was in the tea room saying to his mother, I'm in love with your son, and she had never even had one-on-one -on -one time with him, that's a joke. A sweetie. When he left a girl up there who's running around talking behind everybody's back, that's a joke. So he left a lot of jokes in there. So, Flav, you're retarded. You're retarded. Congratulations, ladies. Okay. Um, Whoever guessed Tika in the chat, I'm on to you. What? There's no way. What? When I said guess her name. And someone goes. <laughs> a little bit, all right? Play for play. She's right, though. No oh, bit lotion don't hurt nobody. Why is he putting it on? Me. <laughs> Where's the lotion? One thing I can say, handsome brother friend, you smell like a mud, like a must rat. And another one bites the dust. I'm glad Hottie stayed, because Hottie's amazing. But crazy call from Flav, I think. You're praying for her downfall. Yes. But it, she's better TV than Sweetie. Yeah, I'm excited to see more Hottie. I love Hottie. Uh, she's Joel, hilarious. We're gonna head out because I'm going to. Uh, we're going to her apartment. I'm gonna work out. Then you we're gonna watch some TV. Like it's ten. Oh, it's ten. But uh, no, watch another definitely not. I got we got we got I got class tomorrow. I, I gotta I gotta get off. <laughs> what is that? You got class. <laughs> <laughs> <Are you falling? laughs> okay. Um, 
America's... Yeah, I'm was, I was sleepy. Uh, let's let's raid someone. We're not gonna raise Nez ag- raid Nez again because you guys are fans of Nez. Just go watch him. Um. Who's a good person to raid tonight? Who's that with like one viewer? Save is entitled. Uh, I don't like TF2. Alright, we're gonna raid Bren. Bren's a. He's a commentator. A very, very nice person. Big fan of big fan of theirs, so be uh, be nice. I know T is our name in the episode. Bye y'all. See ya. Bye. Thank you guys so much. Can we do it? It's not in yet. We just gotta wait for this.